you're very welcome to this video. This is our third video in our series of types of enterprise for junior cycle of business based on learning outcome 2.1 in this specification. So what we're going to learn in this video is we're going to understand what a cultural enterprise is. We're going to look at examples of cultural enterprises and we're going to look at the role cultural enterprise plays in society. So first things first, what I want you to think about is what does a cultural enterprise mean? And can you think of any examples of one? Pause the video now, have a think about it. And when you're ready, press play to continue on with the video. So, a cultural enterprise then, is an organization that exists to promote or provide services relating to the arts. So what we mean by arts, I mean things like theater, film, music, radio, festivals, visual arts, things that promote culture. So it's an enterprise that promotes culture is basically the best way of, uh, of explaining that one. So, what I want you to do now is to list as many examples of cultural enterprise that you can in, say, 30 seconds. Pause the video, 30 seconds, write down as many as you can, and when you're ready, press play to continue on. So, here are some examples of uh, cultural enterprises. You have the IFI in Dublin City Centre is the Irish Film Institute that promotes movies and it has a wide range of uh, locally uh, produced films so Irish produced films and old films as well. Falch Ireland then are the organisation that promotes tourism in Ireland. You have the Eurovision Song Contest which is a, Euro a song contest held between nations across Europe promoting uh, arts and culture of each country. You have the Rose Tralee International Festival. I think uh, you're all familiar with that, I think. You have Electric Picnic, which is an arts and music festival held in Strad Valley every year. Apart from being a great music festival, it's also a wide range of collection of various different artistic and cultural pieces available there as well. You have the Abbey Theatre, which is a theatre in Dublin city centre. That is just one example of many theatres that provide a rain, uh, that host a range of different plays promoting Irish culture and international culture and then you have the National Gallery of Ireland which is an art muse um, an art gallery uh, showing a wide range of different art um, across its ex various exhibitions that it runs in the centre. So now what I want you to do is I want you to think about what role does cultural enterprise play in society. Have a think about it, pause the video and ready press play to continue. So Cultural enterprise provide a great benefit to society. How do they do that? Well, they can develop an interest in culture amongst people. Without cultural enterprises, say, without your theatres or your art galleries, you people wouldn't have the ability to see, say, plays or be able to see artistic pieces and so on. It promotes cultural opportunities in society. It provides an opportunity for people to be able to develop cultural pieces themselves and promotes the use of culture in, in, in a, a country. Brings new jobs to suit specific skill sets. So it creates jobs, say, for example, for actors in plays or, for example, for artists, for example, for a better word, or for singers or, um, or for musicians. It also develops new skills in societies. Cultural enterprise encourages and develops the artistic skills in our society, which is of great benefit for uh, many people inside to be able to enjoy, enjoy these. So folks, that brings us to the end of today's lesson where you learned what a cultural enterprise is, examples of cultural enterprises, and the role cultural enterprise plays in society. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, ask below in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, why not subscribe to the channel for more wonderful videos like this and give the video a like. Thanks very much for watching now. See you in the next video. Bye now.